Ubuntu Mate 15.10 is the final build. I was just going through it and checking it out. And I have to say, if you're a new user to Linux and you're confused about uh, which one to download and you know all this, you know, there's so many and it's just so confusing. I have to say, download Ubuntu Mate 15.10, install it. You don't need to look any further. There's really no reason to. And it's got this nice little software center. You can just click on things if you want to add a little piece of software. It's one little click, stalls it. And uh, it's got all these little, you know, accessories, games, little selection there. And they also have, you click on more apps, you can install the app grid or the Ubuntu software center or the even the synaptic uh, package manager which is just another uh, package manager that uh, you can install software with you can't go wrong with this little distro there's really no reason to look any further and if you're like I said a new user it is kinda of confusing because there's so many distros out there and they got so many different uh, environments that it's you know kind of confusing and this mate environment is in the perfect class of just being right in the middle of the road for having uh, a lot of features that you need and good on memory uses so you can use this on a weak computer you know a low uh, resourceful computer or a computer that's you know up to date newer it, it really won't it really that part really won't matter so if you're you don't not sure of which one to download just download the mate you can try the use Ubuntu mate try this one the Ubuntu mate 15.10 and out of the box the theme is just you know perfect nice little dark theme can't go wrong with it and of course you can customize it once you later on you feel like uh, I want to add my own little uh, themes and my own little icons you can start testing the water with all that stuff like right now I just downloaded the uh, ambience blackout themes and uh, installed the uh, Numix circle icons and now I can come in here a little tweak and if I want the little uh, interface with the taskbar at the top and the little docky at the bottom there it is it's got the nice round Numix icons and the blackout theme looks real nice and there's my little file browser let's see how that looks looks real nice with that theme and let's see let's find a wallpaper that looks a little bit orangier how about that one for the branding <laughs> look at that perfect let's say I want a and here's a here's what I like about mate uh, it, it just has all these little things in here to add that you can add to the panel of course you can add little icons remove them from the panel and has different uh, menus let's say if you want this menu here if you like this menu better and it's more of a it's got a searcher thing on it so if you got to search for something and uh, let's let's just remove that one and move this one on down here and there you go now you got this kind of a menu and that looks real nice and there's GIMP I installed with a little uh, software uh, welcome center thing just one click and installed it and installed Chrome added to the little dock down here and of course the little docky this is a plank and it's got preferences you can uh, configure it the behavior locked icons and all that pretty neat you just can't go wrong with this mate it's got enough little configurations and add little things that you can you know put into the panel I mean look at that it's got weather report trash and timers and system monitor load indicators just enough where you can uh, you know tweak it your own little customized way and put your own little themes and it, it just you know has a good selection of everything and there's really no reason to go looking around any further than mate I mean I, I, I'm 
I downloaded a lot of these things. I've tried the Cinnamon. I tried the GNOME, uh, the LXDE, the KDE, Plasma 5s and everything. And did all that distro hopping. And I landed on the Mate environment. You just can't go wrong with it. It seems like it has the best performance out of all these uh, different environments. And uh, it just works. And it has enough little configurations where you can like add to the panel and and stuff like that like uh, if I want to add something to the panel bam I can add it to the panel move it around it, it just it, you know it's just a more friendlier environment uh, and with the more features than um, you know say like the lower ones like LXDE you know and the XFCE. XFCE is not bad but I just think it to me it just feels kind of quirky and the way it uh, operates and things but uh, what's this what's this you know point because this mate is perfect and you know you have people out there saying oh the mate environment is outdated or uh, you know it's just not uh, no eye candy I mean what are you looking for you want something that is an operating system that works and it's configurable to your kind of a taste to how you can do it you know and, and feature the theming and all that little stuff mate does it there's no reason to look any further and if you're a new to Linux all I got to say is try this Ubuntu mate I mean look at that within a little seconds of me uh, just downloading some little themes these this one's called the ambience blackout theme and these are the Numix circle icons and you know install them no problem put them in there but the themes that it comes with out of the box ain't bad but of course you know over time you're just going to want to uh, get in there and tweak it and everything and start adding your own stuff and and that's all you have to worry about is you know tweaking it and, and theming it your way because you really don't have to add and build and and do all this stuff because everything is done for you uh, the people that uh, Ubuntu mate have already configured this thing to be perfect and of course it has the little welcome center again and if you ever need a piece of software you just come click on this see what you need like if you need a little graphic software it's got blender there's dark table GIMP I installed it one click and it's just a nice little welcome center and also you uh, can install the once you really start getting into it and wanted some little effects and everything you can install the uh, compiz config settings manager and then really get you know going with that you, you've seen the cube and the uh, wobbly windows and all that stuff this operating system can do it and of course let's see you go over here they got uh, is it under programming universal no is it under accessory or is it here donate no nope. I'm getting lost with all this introductions the features all those guys under features getting started introduction maybe nope now I'm getting lost getting started it's under getting started come down here and look at all that information there all the shortcuts to the compiz effects shortcuts window shortcuts I mean this is a lot of good information right here and a lot of people you know you especially if you're new to Linux you don't know what all these shortcuts are and there it is right there in the little welcome center just a nice little welcome center and it's great because if you're new to Linux and you know you just don't you don't have this information and here it is all right here for you and like the software it's all right here for you system tools there's the little drive cleaner hard info there's even virtual box sound and video <clears throat> they did remove simple screen recorder 
because it was having problems but uh, you can also install Kazam you just got to download you one of these uh, like the app grid let's let me show you <clears throat> just click on that it'll start installing the app grip I don't know how long this is going to take to install but we'll find out okay then once your password let's just see how long it hopefully it won't make this video too much longer but you just can't go wrong with this mate uh, Ubuntu mate build here I mean it already comes with all the office the LibreOffice the writer let's see what right LibreOffice 5 it's got all the newest uh, software on it there it is looks real nice real colorful icons and let's see what else go to all Brazero for your CD and DVD burners and let's go through why that's accessories okay let's go to graphics of course I put GIMP on there one click got simple scan for your printers shot well for your pictures internet I put Chrome on it it already comes with Firefox there's a little pigeon internet messenger transmission for your download and there it is it is installed the, the app grid so let's go find the app grid and there it is of course I agree and then you can let's let's see if we can find Kazam there's Kazam and install and bam it's installing once my password just that simple and then you know like I said later on if you want to get into all the fun effects and all that good stuff like the desktop cube the wobbly windows you can watch videos on that on YouTube I'm not going to get into all that but you can also install the uh, comp is settings manager in here then come on over here to the Ubuntu tweak and come over here and it's already uh, configured for you right here you just click on this and it'll take off and start going and then you can come and get into the comp is config settings manager will, will, <coughs> will be popped up in here somewhere uh, once you install it and then you can get in there and configure but I would recommend looking at some videos about the comp is before you dive into that especially if you're a new user and let's see I got Kazam installed that quick let's see that be in sound and video and there's Kazam so there how quick that was and there it's my Kazam now I can start to recording my desktop that's how good this little distro is worth checking out if you're a new Linux user you really don't have to look any further than Ubuntu mate alright